sa kanya. Hello, Kiko. Uh, Kiko, oh. can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, that's good. Oh, where are you right now? My grandparents. Ah, all right. You're visiting them. Yes. Okay. So, oh yeah, oh, teacher was absent yesterday because um, well, I'm not feeling good because of the COVID vaccine. Here, it it hurts, and I have some fever last night, so I wasn't able to come to our class. And the last time you were off too, right? Because yes. you have to, what is that? What does your mother said? You have to fix the lights for the festival? Yes. Oh, what kind of lights is that? What kind of lights is this, that? Is that Christmas lights? No. Oh, what kind of light is that? Um, yes, uh, uh, the light is, Is that for pet holiday? Mm. Is moonlight. Ah, moonlight. Yes. Oh, all right. So is that a kind of festival in Vietnam, moonlight? Mm. Yes. Okay. All right. So anyway, for tonight, Akiko, we're going to have a few activities to do. Okay. This is unit 32A. Yes, this is unit 32A. Okay. Are you getting your paper? Yes. Yeah, because I know that you always write the the... I think of this one you write, you always write the lesson. Okay, let's start now. Okie dokie, let's begin. So this is listening activity. All right, unit 32A, listening activity. So in part number one, Akiko, listen and draw a line. There is one example. Part one. 
Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, where's Sue? She's in the water with the dolphins. Is she swimming? That's right. She's swimming with the fastest dolphin. She's very good. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Which girl's Jill? She's wearing a blue dress. Oh yes. What's she doing? She's pointing at the dolphins and laughing. Two. Where's Paul? There, the boy with the camera. Right, I can see him. He's taking some pictures. Yes, he loves dolphins. Three. I can't see Nick. What's he doing? He's throwing a fish to the dolphins. Where? There. Look, he's standing up. Oh yes. Four. Look at Anne. What's she doing? She's shouting to her friend. What's she shouting? She's shouting, "Quick! Look at the dolphins!" Five. Is May there? Yes. She's in the water with one of the dolphins. What's she doing? She's riding on its back. Oh, I'd love to do that. Now listen to part one again. One. Which girl's Jill? She's wearing a blue dress. Oh yes. What's she doing? She's pointing at the dolphins and laughing. Two. Where's Paul? There, the boy with the camera. Right, I can see him. He's taking some pictures. Yes, he loves dolphins. Three. I can't see Nick. What's he doing? He's throwing a fish to the dolphins. Where? There. Look, he's standing up. Oh yes. Four. Look at Anne. What's she doing? She's shouting to her friend. What's she shouting? She's shouting, "Quick, look at the dolphins!" Five. Is May there? Yes. She's in the water with one of the dolphins. What's she doing? She's riding on its back. Oh, I'd love to do that. That is the end of part one. Okay, let's see if you got the correct answers. All right, so number one, the lines should be drawn between number one, Jill and the girl in the blue dress pointing at dolphins, correct? Two, Paul and the boy taking photographs, correct? Number three, Nick and the boy standing throwing a fish, Okay, for Anne and the girl shouting to her friend. Last one is May and the girl riding a dolphin. Okay, very good, Akiko. So you got a uh, perfect score in the first part of our activity. So next one, let's proceed to part number two. Listen and try. There is one example. So this is all about Jane Smart. Let's listen. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Sally. Tell me about your best friend. Okay. What's her name? Jane Smart. Is that S M A R T? That's right. Can you see the answer? 
Now you listen and write. One. And how old is your friend? She's eleven. Pardon? Did you say eleven? Yes. Two. And what colour is her hair? It's blonde. Blonde? Yes, like mine. Three. Now, which clothes does she like wearing? That's easy. She loves wearing jeans. Jeans? Does she wear them every day? No, only at weekends. At school we have to wear a dress. Four. OK, can you tell me this? What does Jane like doing? She likes doing a lot of things. Well, has she got a favourite hobby? Yes, she loves sailing. Does she? Do you go sailing with her? No, I don't like it because I can't swim. Five. Has she got any pets? Oh, yes. It was her birthday yesterday and she got a parrot. A parrot? Yes. It's beautiful and it can talk. Great. Now listen to part two again. OK. Let's see. All right. So the name is Jane Smart. How old is she, Akiko? Is 11. Oh, why did you write 17? <laughs> anyway, 11 is correct. You said 11. So I will accept your answer. Number two. Hair color is... It's blonde, blonde. Blonde. Yes. Number three, favorite clothes is? Jeans. Jeans. Four, favorite hobby is? It's sailing. Sailing. And last one, the pet is? A parrot. A parrot. Yes, that's correct, Akiko. Very good. Five points or a perfect score again for you. All right. Now, let's go to part number three. What did Bill do last weekend? Listen and draw a line to the date to the correct picture. There is one example. Okay, let's listen. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Bill do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Bill. Did you have a good week? Yes, I did lots of different things. Did you? Yes, on Monday, I watched a video at my friend Tom's house. What was it about? Some dinosaurs that lived on the moon. Can you see the line from the word Monday? On Monday, Bill watched a video. Now you listen and draw lines. One. What did you do on Thursday? Thursday? Yes. Um, I went to the cinema with my brother. We saw a film about pirates. Did they find any treasure? No, they weren't very clever. Two. And what did you do on Saturday? It was Tom's birthday, so I went to his party. Was it good? Yes. We wore funny clothes there. Three. But I was at home on Sunday. Were you? Yes. It rained all day. What did you do? Did you read a book? No. I played a computer game with robots in it. Four.
four. Tom and I went to the library one day. Which day was that? Friday. We went to see a clown who was there. Oh! He read us some stories. He was very funny. <laughs> Five. What about on Tuesday? Sorry, I mean Wednesday. I had a cold. I couldn't go outside. Oh dear. It was okay. Tom brought me a book to read. About pirates? Yes, I love those kinds of stories. Now listen to part three again. One. What did you do on Thursday? Okay, so you're already finished answering, Akiko. Let's see. So Friday is correct. Um. Okay, Sunday is wrong. Saturday is correct. Wednesday is One correct. One moment, because uh, in the example, the audio read is sun. Uh, the Example, the audio read is Monday is uh, watching computer. Ah, so it said that it's Monday. Yes. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Let me, let, let but us. But it match uh, Sunday. Ah, okay, wait a minute. Let's see. Look at the pictures. What did Bill do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Bill. Did you have a good week? Yes, I did lots of different things. Did you? Yes. On Monday, I watched a video at my friend Tom's house. What was it about? Some dinosaurs that lived on the moon. Can you see the line from the word Monday? On Monday, Bill watched a video. Now you listen and draw lines. One. What did you do on Thursday? Thursday? Yes. Um, I went to the cinema with my brother. We saw a film about pirates. Did they find any treasure? No, they weren't very clever. Two. And what did you do on Saturday? It was Tom's birthday, so I went to his party. Was it good? Yes. We wore funny clothes there. Three. But I was at home on Sunday. Were you? Yes. It rained all day. What did you do? Did you read a book? No, I played a computer game with robots in it. Okay. Four. Tom and I went to the library one day. Which day was that? Friday. We went to see a clown who was there. Oh. He read us some stories. He was very funny. <laughs> All right, well, in this one, Akiko, I heard that um, on Sunday, they just stayed at home because it's raining and they played computer game of a robot. Anyway, let's not, let's not include that anymore, okay? So this will be only a total of four points because um, Sunday is an example. It's a given example, right? So it has, um, it has uh, what do you call this one? It has an error in the material, okay? So I will give you a perfect score of four points. This is not five, okay? It's only four points. Okay, anyway, let's proceed to the next one, Akiko. Now, this is part number four. Listen and tick the box. There is one example. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen. And look, there is one example. Where's Kim's comic? 
Where's my comic, Mum? On the table. It isn't there. And it isn't next to my bed. Well, look in your bag, Kim. Oh, yes. It's here. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where does Sam's dad work? My dad works in a shop. Where does your dad work, Sam? He works at the hospital. Does he? I'd like to work there. I wouldn't. I want to work on a farm. Two. What does Anne have to buy? Can you go to the shop, please, Anne? All right, Mum. What do you want? Some bread? No, I've got that. We need some cheese for our sandwiches. OK. What about fruit? No. There are some apples and bananas in the bowl. Three. Which is Jim's family? Have you got any brothers and sisters, Jim? Yes. I've got one sister and one brother. Are they older than you? Well, my brother's older than me, but my sister's a baby. Four. What does Daisy want? Do you want any supper, Daisy? No, thank you, Dad. I'm not very hungry. What about a drink? Yes, please. I'm thirsty. You can have some milk, but then you must go to bed. Oh, Dad! I'm not tired. I don't want to go to bed now. A moment, but I can't see uh, number four. Five. Oh, yeah. What's Wait a Jill minute. drawing? Because the audio is continuous. Anyway, let's check it first. Number one, where does Sam Dad work? Answer is... Wait a minute, I cannot see it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That is letter A, I think, because I can see it. Number two, what does Anne have to buy? Wait, 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 wait. It's letter C. And number three, which is Jim's family? So that is letter B. Okay, anyway, let's continue to four, to four and five. Part four. Five is a baby. Four. What does Daisy want? Do you want any supper, Daisy? No, thank you, Dad. I'm not very hungry. What about a drink? Yes, please. I'm thirsty. You can have some milk, but then you must go to bed. Oh, Dad, I'm not tired. I don't want to go to bed now. Five. What's Jill drawing? What's that in your picture, Jill? A rabbit? Where? This animal here, on the grass. Can't you see? It's a kangaroo. Look, that's its baby. Oh, yes. It's like a frog. Now listen to part four again. Okay. So number four, what does Daisy want? Letter C, milk is correct. Number five, what was what is Jill's drawing? Letter A is correct. Okay, so four points for you here, Kiko. So next one, let's proceed to... Part number five. So we have to listen and color and write. There is one example. Okay, so Amakiko, this will be played two times, so um, you can follow it, okay? Because sometimes the audio is very fast, right? Okay. Okay. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Would you like to colour something? Yes, please. Can I colour the CD? Okay. 
What colour would you like? Pink, I think. I like that colour. Good. Right. I'm colouring the CD. Can you see the pink CD? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. Now find the waterfall in the picture. OK. I can see it. Would you like to colour it? Yes, please. Right. Colour the waterfall green. OK, so number one is colour the waterfall green. Okay, tell me if you're done. Okay, let's go to number two. Two. Would you like to write something? Yes, please. Can you see the name of the CD? Yes, it says Rainbow Island. Well... Can you see the words Peter and under that? Yes. Write the name Ben after the word and. OK. I'm writing Ben now. OK. Very good. Three. Now you can colour again. Thank you. Look at the tall boy. He's standing up. I can see him. Well, colour his scarf yellow. Did you say his scarf? That's right. Colour his scarf yellow. Four. What can I do now? Find the boy with curly hair. Yes, I can see him. He's sitting on a rock. That's right. Well, colour that rock blue. OK. Five. What shall I do now? Can you see the sun? Yes, it's next to the rainbow. Well, colour the sun orange. Right. The picture's beautiful now. Yes, I'd like to buy that CD. All right, so is that finished already? No. OK. Okay. All right, let's check if you got the correct answer, Sakiko. Oh, wait a minute. Where is it now? All right, so here, number one, color the waterfall green. That's correct. Two, write the word Ben after Peter N. Okay, that's correct. Three, color the taller boy scarf yellow. Four, color the rock under the sitting boy blue. And last one is color the sun orange. Okay, very good, Akiko. That's a perfect score. 
a five points for you. Next one, let's see if we still have here. Oh, it's finished already. Okay, wait for me. I'm going to open the next one. Okay, here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, here now, Akiko. All right, so this is Unit 32B. Okay, so Unit 32B is Reading and Writing Activity. Okay, are you going to write? Okay. All right. Let's answer now. So part number one, look and read and choose the correct words and write them on the lines. There is one example. So example, this is green and cows and horses eat it. So the answer is a grass. All right. How about number one, Akiko? Most of the they are they green are and brown. They are sometimes very old and they are often. Ten very tall. All right, so your answer is trees. That's correct, too. They have got pitch of pictures and stories, and children enjoy reading them. Is a comics. Comics is correct. Number three. You put hot and cold water in this and when wash in it. All right, so your answer is comics. How about number three? You put hot it's and cold bath. water. Bath. How about number four? These plants are all colors and big or small people like having them in their gardens and their home. Mm -hmm. Is a flowers. 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 Yes. There are films that you can watch at home. Is a video. Videos and last one is. You stand under this and water water comes out of it.
eat a shower. Okay, it's a shower. Very good. So that's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Six points for you, Akiko. Okay, next one. Okay, in part number two, all you have to do is to read, uh, look and read, and write yes or no. So example, one person in the picture is talking on a phone. Oh, wait a minute, where's the answer? So the answer here is yes. Number two, the bus is in a city street. This is no. All right, number one, Akiko, just answer yes or no. The cloud is sitting behind a boy who is reading. Is no. Most it's of no. the people on the bus are children. Is yes. Yeah, uh, no. Most of the people on the bus are children. Uh, no, they are all, all adults. Uh, number three. There is a woman with some fruit in her hand. Is no. No, for? All the people on the bus are, are wearing hats. Yes. Yes. A five? The boy with the dog is wearing glasses. Is yes. Yes. The tallest person on the back is listening to music. Is yes. It's yes. Okay. So you got one wrong answer only. That is a total of five points. Okay. Good job, Akiko. Next one. So this is part number three. Read a text and choose the best answer. Example, good morning, Miss Young. Answer is hello, Paul. Okay. Number one, Akiko. Brother Nick can't come to school today. Oh, why is that? Very good. He's got a bad stomach ache. Oh, I see. Can we point a picture to give him? I mean, can we paint a picture to give him? Yes, we like painting him. There. Oh, it's yes, we can all paint one big one. Oh, number four. What can we paint? Yes, uh, well, he likes animals. Very good. He'd like a picture of the zoo. That's his favorite place. Okay, we can paint that then. 
All right. Ah, and I can take it home for him this afternoon. All right, but be careful which eat on the bus. Okay, very good. So you got one wrong answer. That's number three. Five points for you here. Okay, next one, Akiko. All right, so this is part number four. Read the story and choose a word from the box. Write the correct word next to numbers one to six. There's one example, okay? You can choose your answer from hair, skating, beach, nurse, snow, curly, smiling, swim, sunny. So hair is an example already, okay? Start now, please. My mom and dad are very dear friends. Mom has got straight black hair, but my dad is. It's curly. Mom works a do and likes it when the weather eats. Sunny and hot because she likes being outside. Dad works inside in a shop. He loves it when it. When it snow. He doesn't like being hot at weekend. My mom likes to the lake to swim in the water there with me and my sister, but dad likes skating on the lake in very cold weather better. Our family had lost of good holidays because we go to the beach in hot weather because mom likes it there and we go to the mountains in cold weather because that's why that bed is great all right very good all your answers are correct that is six points for you akiko okay next one what do you think is the best title for that story it's my parents okay it's my parent very good so plus one point that's seven. Oh, wait a minute i click on the wrong pen okay seven points for you all right, so now, Akiko, let's have this one, part number five. Look at the picture and read the story. Write words to complete the sentences about the story. You can use one, two, or three words, okay? So just read a short story here, Akiko. Last Monday afternoon, John came home from school with a headache. He didn't want to watch TV. What to TV want to watch TV, he wants to go to bed. But that night, he didn't sleep very well. And in the morning, he was tired and his head was hot. No school for you today, his mom said. You can have breakfast in bed. John was very hungry. He only had some fruit and some orange juice. Now you must sleep, his mom said. Okay, so, um, well, Kiko, let's continue this one tomorrow. So I will send a screenshot of this screen, uh, I mean, this activity and send it in Zalo so you can answer the question, okay? Okay.
All right. So that will be all for tonight, Akiko. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Chuk ngulun.